I am happy to be with you through video address even though I am not able to be with you physically. Firstly friends, my greetings to the group of volunteers of India Inclusion Summit for differently challenged people in India. For a happy and a peaceful society, it's very important to provide community-based rehabilitation program through education, both needy and also persons with disabilities. I would like to share my thoughts on the topic, removing the pain is, is God's mission. Removing the pain is God's mission. Friends, our minds are, as you know, our minds are stronger than diamond. Friends, on 27th November 2003 in Rashtrapati Bhavan, I met about thousand differently challenged children who were taking part in the Abhi Olympics. They were extremely enthusiastic to visit Rashtrapati Bhavan and the environment gave them very happiness. To that gathering, I recited a short poem. That short poem name is God is with us. God is with us. The poem goes like this. When God is with us, who can be against? We will win and win with our mighty will. Our minds are stronger than diamond. We are all God's children. We will win, win with our mighty will. When God is with us, who can be against? Since I am addressing the educators, parents and caregivers of the special children, I would like to share with you some examples of rehabilitation pertaining to special children. The combined effort of mother, family members and the teachers together have culminated in the total recovery of the affected child in all these cases which I am going to discuss. Friends, let me start with sharing a research work of one of my students, Father George, on mentally challenged children. His research is on mentally challenged children. According to his study and results, study results, the neurons of mentally challenged children can be activated and the new pathways can be formed by physical practice and neurological challenge. A mentally challenged child is indeed a typical case where the neurons are affected in numbers so the intellectual ability is compromised. My student father George has developed a model of the brain where the neuronal density is the key factor for the smartness of the brain. The model indicates that the focus damage does not diminish the capacities of the brain a lot. However, a widespread destruction of neurons decreases the capabilities drastically. If we can find a way of increasing the neuronal density, at least in some areas, we will be able to give better quality of life to the affected children. This is a his research results. Friends, now I am going to tell you the story of Nihar. Now let me talk about a child who has been cured and trained by a school in Mumbai. His name is Nihar. Nihar, presently a student of visual arts and crafts, was diagnosed of having learning disability when he was four years old by his parents based on certain symptoms in his communications, walking and aggressive behavior. 
Their parents admitted Vidihar in a mainstream school, school where teachers were not able to teach him until he was 12. At the stage, Nihar was brought to a special school in Mumbai. The teachers worked with Nihar using the program Facing Learning Disability Through Communication with the Environment. The program had four phases. In the first phase, Nihar was given training in communications. It is important to let mentally challenged children set the pace have control so that they build a trusting relationship with the people around them. Using play as an excellent way to get to know the children and enable them to feel comfortable as well as having fun at the same time. In the second phase, using the environment, the innate abilities of Nihar for music and art were brought to the fore. He showed, Nihar showed signs of settling down and doing work given to him in the classroom. He started using eye contact and good focus on what being said to him. Due to strong inclination towards art, Nihar was promoted to the art department for his vocational training, along with the alternative therapies like yoga, laughter therapy and brain gym, etc. This phase of the program is based on the integration of the left and right brain, thereby developing the whole personality of the student and they enable him to overcome his disabilities to an extent. The third phase of the program was linking and initiating a network of communication through synergy, wherein he was respected and treated as a member of a society and had the potential to reach greater goals. This mentoring strategy created synergy between the mentor and the mentee, between peers and between the student and society. Here Nihar learned to become part of the group in the visual arts and crafts department, interacting with his peers and accompanying them on the outdoor educational excursions. Nihar's behavioral change uh, took place over a period of one year. In the last phase, the school normalized the parental behavior and tried to remove psychological blocks to a disability, thereby enabling them to become totally accountable and participate fully in the student's day-to-day -day living. Nihar's mother had been counseled to help her overcome her anxiety and apprehension, which prevented Nihar from becoming independent. She cooperated, mother cooperated with the school program and really worked hard with her son. Today, she is a proud mother of Nihar and his achievements. The message we get from Nihar's experience is that the parent should admit the child with the learning disabilities in an appropriate school without waiting for many years. Also, there is a need for training number of teachers who can handle the special children and be posted to regular schools. This will at least enable early recognition of the abnormality leading to admission of the child in the right atmosphere for treatment and training. I am sure the educators of special children will make note of this message I am giving and take action to propagate among the parents, teachers and the trainers so that the special children are dealt with in a proper manner without undue worry for the parents, teachers and community. Let me now share another experience of a dream of a student with special abilities who met me in 2006. Friends, when I was the president of India, I met the group of tribal students from Lead India 2020 movement on 28 August 2006. I asked all of them one question as normally I ask, what you would like to become? Out of many responses, one visually challenged boy, one visually challenged boy, studying ninth class got up. His name is Srikanth. He answered me, Srikanth answered me, 
I will become the first visually challenged president of India. I was very happy to see his vision and ambition. As you know, small aim is a crime. Hence, I congratulated Srikanth and to and uh, uh, Srikanth to realize his vision and told him to work for realizing the vision. Thereafter, Srikanth has worked hard, got 90% in 10th class, 96% in 10 plus 2, and he set a goal to study engineering in MIT Boston, USA. His relentless hard work not only secured seat, but he got full fee waiver from MIT Boston. Srikanth's achievement has brought changes in many change agents of Lead India 2020 and inspired to set a high vision. The training you took under the initiative of Lead India 2020 has set a high vision for him. Seeing this impact of Lead India 2020, the training and the Lead India 2020 movement and GE volunteers have funded Srikanth for his travel to USA. Today, he is pursuing his studies at MIT Boston. When the GE offered him a job on his completion of the graduation, he told them that he would certainly come back to GE if he could not become the President of India. What a confidence that boy has amidst the difficulty and the challenges in his life by being visually challenged. Recently, when I met the physically challenged students meet organized by Tamil Nadu government and Lead India 2020 at Coimbatore, I had a chance to meet Srikant and his teacher who brought him up. He is now in the fourth year, Srikant is now in fourth year of BS Computer Science and Management at Boston. During his four year study, he has also started a company which produces consumer packaging items using biodegradable materials. He has also started a social initiative on skill development training to the youth. Srikanth gave an extempo speech on how to overcome disability and to have a strong mind and the willpower to overcome the challenges and succeed. Srikanth proved that disability is a matter of perception. If you can do just one thing well, someone needs you. If you can do just one thing well, someone needs you. Now friends, I am going to talk to you experience, learning and doing. These three real life stories what you heard are examples how perseverance can make the impossible possible. In these cases, the mother, the family members and the teachers became the captain of the problem help the student to defeat the problem and succeed. I learned from these special children that rebellion against one's handicaps gets one nowhere. Self-pity gets one nowhere. One must have the adventurous, daring to accept on, on self as a bundle of possibilities and undertake the most interesting game in the world, making the most of one's best. Here, friends, I would like to share one experience of Father Thomas Felix, Director, Central Institute of Mental Retardation, CAMR, Thiruvandavaram, Kerala, in handling the special children. There are so many methods used to teach these children. From their experience, it was found that there are three C's approach comprehension, competency and creativity and shape-based and shape-based curriculum is the best training method for their development. One of the basic features of the special children is a lack of social skills and poor interpersonal skills. This should overcome only through interacting with others. The training model provides maximum opportunity for their social interaction through real experience. It helps them to come out of the shell. Contrary to the common belief, they do not prefer being alone. The multi-sensory approach of teaching helps them to learn easily by touching, seeing, hearing and smelling and 
tasting, they recognize, understand the real world. Actually, this is what the sensory integration therapy aims. The student of CMR, Sedu Ramanarayan, Bamadi, are examples of special children who were mainstreamed to Bharatanatyam and fine arts through training by Father Thomas Felix. This is the result of experience and interaction with special children. During my presidency, I requested the army to provide two horses to the institute to teach special children. Recently, I visited them and seen the performance of special children in handling the horses and riding over them. It was a beautiful sight to watch. It gave them the confidence, managed the reflex and coordination better. Their movement has improved a lot. The ability of risk taking has increased tremendously. When they came forward to me by riding horses, they came like a soldiers leading the army. It was a beautiful scene to witness that the power of teaching and training and bringing transformation, leading the life purposefully. In conclusion, friends, any disability increases, dependence on others, and reduces the self-esteem of the individual. Education has to propel, give thrust on building self-esteem among the special child. Researchers must direct their efforts, bringing about a sense of equality among the special children. Equality can be generated by prevention, early detection, appropriate training to acquire certain skills and engaging the minds of affected children in productive efforts to enable them to lead a normal life. I am sure that such collective action will bring smiles to the faces of special children, their parents and light the lamp of happiness in their family.